Namaste and welcome to another episode. Today we are going to make a North Indian speciality which is a kadhi and this is going to be a ginger and coconut kadhi. With a lot of spice infusions and curd, this is going to be a delicious little curry that you can eat with rice, paratha, roti or really anything. You can even have it by itself just as a soup. So let's see what we need to make this curry. Firstly, we need some fenugreek seeds, some fresh grated coconut, some Bengal gram and black gram, some mustard seeds, some cumin seeds, salt to taste, just about half an inch of ginger, some fresh cut coriander and about half cup of curd. So this is a dairy free curd, this is peanut curd. You can take any kind of curd that you would like. You can even go for the dairy curd that is absolutely fine. And I am taking about just half a red chilli. 2 to 3 teaspoons of cold pressed groundnut oil. So these are the ingredients. Now let's begin making this curry. So the pan is heated now. I'm going to add about half a tablespoon of groundnut oil. And here I'm going to fry a pinch of fenugreek seeds along with some fresh curry leaves. Let's just wait for the fenugreek seeds to sizzle and then we can add our curry leaves. Now I'm going to switch the gas off and allow the curry leaves and fenugreek to just simmer a little bit in the hot oil. Meanwhile, I'm going to take a blender. Now to this blender, I'm going to add some fresh grated coconut. And now I am adding some ginger to this. We will now add the tempering of the fenugreek and the curry leaves to this. So now here uh, we've ground the fresh grated coconut and the ginger. Now we're going to heat the pan once again. Now we're going to add the remaining groundnut oil which is about 2 tablespoons. Now once the oil heats up, let's add a pinch of mustard seeds. Now once the mustard seeds are spluttering, we can add the Bengal gram and the black gram dal to this. Saute them until they are golden brown. And just before you start hearing the popping sounds, we can add our ground ginger and coconut to this. Now saute the grated coconut and ginger along with the lentil and mustard seeds. Now at this point, I'm going to add about this half a red chilli. I'm going to tear it up a little bit, add it in. Now the coconut is going to turn from white to a little pale brown. So once we know that the coconut is nicely roasted, that's when we are going to add about one cup of water to it. Allow all the spices and the coconut to simmer. And once it comes to a boil, we can remove it off the heat. I'm adding about 2 teaspoons of salt to this. And now that this has started to simmer, I'm going to add just a small pinch of turmeric to this. Now I've got this off the gas. Now I'm going to add about 2 to 3 tablespoons, really depends on how much curd you like. 3 tablespoons is what I've taken here. Curd in it and just mix it up. Add some fresh coriander. And there, just like that, our ginger and coconut curry is ready. Serve it with some hot rice, paratha, roti or whatever you would like.